The choice at the dinner table. Do you prefer a fork, a spoon, or your hands? This one's going to shock you when you find out the struggles of the fork. Plus, drinking soda water versus regular water. Which one is best? My name is Arrow. Life is a series of choices. Who decides when you're not making the right choice? Is it the fear of going wrong? The greatest lessons in life are often lost inside hidden away attempts and concepts. Well, it's time to reopen your heart. Having a choice is a daily gift. On this highway, we learn to trust mirages. What is the choice? When it comes to eating, I prefer to use a spoon over a fork, unless it involves meat. Forks haven't always been a favorite throughout the generations. It is said that during the Middle Ages, the choice was to remove yourself from the use of that fork. Christian Europeans looked at the fork as being sinful. They believe God's gift to you is your hands. Using different tools wasn't staying true to the maker. They say that making the choice to use the fork was actually insulting God. It came across as being disrespectful of the Lord's bounty. You were saying it's unworthy of being touched by your hands. A woman dying of the plague was looked upon as being a punishment from God. They blamed it on the sinful use of the fork. Now, the transition or choice to begin a new life with the fork didn't start to take shape until the 17th century. But even then, it wasn't a popular decision. The three to four prong instrument finally broke through the walls of judgment in the late 19th century. And might I add, the choice to use a spork, which is a spoon and a fork together, guess what? It came in 1874. Hey, coming up next, do you prefer soda water or regular water? Is one better than the other? Hey, thanks for coming back to The Choice. Because one of my essential jobs is actually working at a grocery store, I see what kind of choices people are making when it comes to liquid likes. Soda water is a leader in sales. With all that carbonation, making the choice to drink it, is it healthy or unhealthy? Those that know report that it's perfectly safe to drink with alcohol or a standalone. But you have to do it in moderation. Some people drink carbonated water to feel full, while others claim it helps with their digestion system, relieving them of their constipation. But, 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 doctors do want to make one thing clear when it comes to this choice. Some studies show people can get excessive gas from sparkling water. If you suffer from acid reflux or GERD, you're being asked to kind of shy away from the soda water. One medical professional suggests that after doing soda water, you should follow it up with regular water, you know, to maintain a balance. Now, since we're on the subject of water, if your daily choice is to consume it from a bottle, you continue to keep water sales in the lead over soft drinks, over Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Coke, more bottles of water have been sold over the past eight years than pop or soda. We're talking 15.94 billion gallons of water. That's a choice. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.